You're gonna make me blush. Um, <laughs> I I do. I was working for a gay organization. I was in a lesbian bar in Texas, um, Dallas, and I uh, was up until that point had a boyfriend. Thought I was completely straight, and she hit on me. And I remember feeling very flattered and uh, surprisingly interested. She was confident. I think it was the confidence that really pulled me in. They surprised me because I have a master's degree in women's studies. When I was in graduate school, I lived with a troupe of drag kings and um, I had been around the lesbian community for years and was never interested in anyone in the community. So when this happened, I thought the question had already been settled for me, um, that I was a straight ally working for a gay organization. I was working for GLAAD at the time. and. Um, so it surprised me and I went home and I called my sister and I said, this woman hit on me and I don't know, I think I kind of liked it. And she was like, oh, it's no big deal. I've kissed lots of girls, who cares? Um, <laughs> so, um, and she was straight also. So that was surprising too. I didn't know that about her. And, um, you know, I remember at the time it was a little, it was probably a little scary and nothing, you know, nothing happened that evening, but it got me thinking and it got me thinking in a very different way. And it sounds cheesy, but I really started, I, you know, I can remember driving down the street and envisioning my life completely differently, envisioning getting married, but to a woman and envisioning having a life but with a woman and coming home to a woman. And I really, you know, I don't know. It was like this door opened that hadn't been opened before. And I thought, huh, that could be my life. And it seemed really exciting and really right. It just made sense. I had different experiences, I think, than most people because I was working at a gay organization and they, for a couple of years, had gotten used to me being, you know, the straight ally that worked at the gay organization. So I had to go there and sort of come out in a reverse sense and say to everybody, look, I, I thought I was straight too, but I'm not um, I'm actually gay. And it was surprising. A, a lot of people were really... I remember being very nervous and very, I felt a lot of, you know, I was proud to be a straight ally and work at a gay organization. And I felt really, I carried a lot of responsibility to sort of educate other straight people and bring people in. And, and so I felt, I think there was some part of me that felt like I was maybe letting people down. And then I got over that pretty quickly and thought, well, this is the whole point. This is what we're fighting for. This is who I am, and it's okay. There were some people at work that were sort of like, that's fine, you're experimenting. Just, you know, test it out, And I, was, which sort of irked me a little bit because I thought, no, I'm not. This isn't just, you know, a fling. It's like I really, I think this is who I am. So it just shows that we all have, you know, our own biases and, and assumptions that we carry around. And then when I came out to my parents, I was very naive and my parents are very liberal. Um, my dad was a, retired as a school superintendent and my mom was a social worker and um, was a, worked at a black community center up in Syracuse. And they were very liberal compared to every other, you know, all of their friends, all of our neighbors. So I thought this would be a non-issue. <laughs> and they had gay friends. You know, my mom was the person at work who would stand up for the gay guy. And I've never heard my dad tell an anti-gay joke or anything like that. And when I came out, um, you know, I was very surprised because my mother had such a traditional re like reaction and she's not a traditional person, which was like, oh my God, what, you're never going to have kids. You're never going to get a husband and have this life. And 
you know, I was like, who are you? This is not, I've never heard you say things like this. Um, and it took many years for her to eventually become okay with that. Uh, so it was a process and I didn't expect it to be. So that was surprising.